Hi, and welcome to this short demo of workload tuning with Cure Optimizer. My name is Ami Levin. I'm DB Suffix founder and CTO, and also a SQL Server MVP. So, what is workload tuning? Workload tuning means automatically tuning all processes that comprise a database workload in one go. If you are already using other solutions to monitor production and to tune individual queries, I'm sure you will find workload tuning entirely complementary and extremely valuable. To put this new workload tuning approach into perspective, let us first review how most of us are tackling performance tuning today. Typically, that would involve what I call query-by-query query tuning. With this approach, you have your production environment, and naturally, this is where you experience your performance pain. And let's assume that you get a call from your users complaining that the system is slow. You connect to the production server, open Performance Monitor, and see that SQL Server consumes 100% CPU. Well, that explains the slowness, but what can be done about it? Your next step would be to open your monitoring solution and be that a third-party multi-instance 24 by 7 monitor or on-demand SQL profiler and DMVs. In both cases, the monitoring information is stored in some repository and you start generating reports based on that data. In our case, since you know it's a CPU issue, you'll probably want to list all your queries sorted by their CPU consumption. Next, you would pick the t top CPU hog and take it offline to try and optimize it. You might try different techniques such as improving indexing, tweaking the syntax, rewriting the query, or even redesigning the whole thing from scratch. Once you're happy with the results, you take these changes and apply them back to production. Well, there's nothing inherently wrong with this approach, but it does pose a few challenges. The first one is the fact that there might be thousands of queries desperate for optimization, but because you're doing the optimization manually, as a human being you can only work on so many at a time. In most cases you would focus on the few top consumers and hope that optimizing those will be enough to solve your current crisis. The second challenge is the fact that you're optimizing the queries outside the context of the workload, and it's nearly impossible to predict how your changes are going to affect the rest of the workload. Unless you run a full QA cycle for every change, uh, you can get ready for potential surprises when you apply these changes to production. Sometimes even a seemingly harmless index can wreak havoc in places you never expected it to. And the last challenge is the fact that this process is a vicious, never-ending circle. Once you've optimized your top consumers, at the same time you just nominated new ones to take their place, and you will probably need to deal with them soon enough. Workload tuning offers a highly complementary approach to address those challenges. Workload tuning does not require any installation or even a connection to production. Instead, it requires you to prepare a copy of the production database and restore it on any non-production server, and to provide the production workload captured in one or more standard SQL traces. Cure Optimizer will collect all the information from these two inputs. It will analyze your schema and data from the copy of production. It will parse and analyze every query of your workload, even if you have millions of them. It will parse every procedure, function, trigger, or view to understand your workload. And armed with this information, it will then generate a set of recommendations that can potentially enhance your workload's performance. However, Cure Optimizer doesn't stop there. Hypothetical recommendations are not good enough, and having an offline copy of production all to itself allows Cure Optimizer to take things to the next level and to test these recommendations for you in action. 
And so Cure Optimizer will perform a full benchmark by replaying your entire workload against the copy of production, first as is to establish a baseline, then generating correctional scripts and applying them onto that copy of production, literally tweaking your schema, optimizing your indexes, rewriting stored procedures, queries, and much more, and then replaying the entire workload again. During these phases, Cure Optimizer will also collect execution plans and resource metrics which will tell it exactly how every change affected every query in your workload. The end result is a report that will show you your entire workload, what needs to be done in order to optimize it, and exactly how much these recommendations will improve performance. And on top of that, it'll also tell you how each of these changes are going to affect all the other queries in your workload. So, uh, let's take a look how this looks uh, in action. Um, this is Cure. I'm going to show you a completed analysis. This is an actual production analysis of one of our customers. And I'll switch right to the batches page where you can see a list of batches from your workload. And by clicking on the top consumer here, I can see that it can be optimized from 8 hours to about 30 seconds. How? Well, just click the recommendations tab at the bottom and now you can see that all you need to do is create a single index to do the magic. If you want to drill down further, you can even drill down to individual parameters and view the actual execution plan before and after the change. However, why should you stop at optimizing just a single batch when with the same effort I can optimize my top 10 or top 20 or top 50 or top 500 queries? Just select all of them and as you can see the performance information is updated dynamically to reflect the total improvement for all selected batches. Let's select our top 20 here there we go. And switch back to the recommendations tab. Now I can see that in order to optimize my top 20 consumers, I'm going to need to apply 60 index optimizations and one object rewrite. That will result in about 60% improvement in duration and nearly 75% reduction in physical reads which are the actual load on your storage. So let's go back to the recommendations, click on the recommendations link and that will take me to the recommendations bat page and focus on the recommendations that are needed to optimize my selected batches. For every recommendation that I select, Cure will provide an English rationale for the recommendation and, of course, a script that you can run to apply it with a list of all the batches that will be affected when you apply this particular recommendation. In this case, you can see there are 10 batches that will be affected. You can click on each one to see how it is being affected, or you can click the root link to see the overall impact on all batches that will be affected by these indexes. Um, for code rewrites, Cure will not only give you um, the English rationale, it will also provide the actual script that is needed to correct the code and here you can see that the rewritten section is being highlighted for you for easy reference. So once you've selected the recommendations that you want to deploy to production, all you have to do is select all of them and with a click of a mouse, Cure will give you 
the full correctional script required to apply all of them. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. Cure will also provide schema recommendation, configuration tweaks, ad hoc battery rights, and many, many others. Well, are you interested in learning more? Um, we welcome you to watch our uh, detailed video or join our 45-minute online demo. You can register for that on our website, www.dbsophic.com. You can also download the Cure Optimizer trial 100% free from our website and experience workload tuning firsthand. If you have any questions, feel free to email support at dbsophic.com. And we're waiting to hear your feedback. So thank you very much for watching this video and we hope that you get to experience the benefits of workload tuning as soon as possible. Thank you so much.